This is Sharon Bornholt with the Louisville Gals Real Estate Blog, and I'm here today to talk about using the tax assessor site in your business. What I want to talk about today is finding cash buyers um, using the tax assessor site. So let me show you quickly um, what I'm talking about. I'm going to just type in an address, and in this instance, I'm going to type in the street Lincoln. Now, this is an area that I know has a lot of rental property, so I want to show you just how easy it would be to find uh, some folks to contact if I had a house on Lincoln and I didn't have a buyer for it, if it didn't meet the criteria of my regular buyers list. So if you will start to look here, you're going to immediately start seeing landlords, LLCs, um, folks that you know are not homeowners. Now you'll also notice that you'll see some people like here and here, folks that own multiple houses on a street, which is a pretty good indication that, well, it is an indication that they have some rental property. If you'll look here, there's one here, one here, and one here, three properties right here um, in the same area. You've got DH Rentals. Um, Sabron Properties, M&J Properties. Oops, I just moved the window down a little bit. Uh, that's okay, but we'll go down, um, down here a little bit. Some of these people, if, when we go on to other pages, you'll notice that they have multiple properties. Let's see, Barnett and Monte. Um, Ponder Holdings, Bliss Terry has a number of houses. So you get the gist of this. All, what you need to do is just type in the street where your house is located and see what comes up. Okay, here's a landlord. But this is a really easy way to find folks uh, that you could contact and say, hey, I've got a house on Lincoln and I'm looking for a buyer, and I notice that you have a lot of property on this same street. And um, it's actually a technique that I've used a number of times to find a buyer. Here we go again, Terry Bliss. Um, Redmond Family Trust. Go down a couple more. There we go, Redmond Family. There's a number of Elmores in here, same name. There's one there, one there. So anyway, you can see just how easy it is to potentially find a buyer using the tax assessor site. In my area, it's about $30 a month to have a paid subscription, and that's what you need to do these kind of searches. There are, however, some areas where you can get this done, um, you know, at no charge. So take a look, just Google your, your county. Um, my county is Jefferson County, so I would uh, Google Jefferson County tax assessor site and then take a look at the information that you can get free. It's probably not going to be everything you want, but then uh, find out how much it will cost to get a paid subscription. They're generally very economical. So that's my tip for today uh, on how to use the tax assessor site to find buyers for your deals. This is Sharon Bornholt, and I'll be back soon with another tip for you, another video. Thanks so much.